I guess with Sailor Shard, it has a universal appeal. It's very easy to read and to understand. You'll see the title, The Human Spirit. The Human Spirit tells the story of the Salish, linking them to their traditional lands and welcoming those who have chosen to visit and live in British Columbia. It also represents people coming together, connecting and creating new ideas and visions, something that is integral to the makeup of Vancouver as it is today. So that, in one paragraph, encapsulates the whole meaning behind the artwork. When I actually was commissioned this job, I thought of this, and I thought, ah, something relating to the people. I went through months and months of um, revamping and redesigning and reconfiguring. The end result was I, I came with this idea of just having a central portion and breaking it away, stretching it right across as much wall space as I could. I wanted that broken away effect, you know, we're all one, although we're apart from each other, and then if you can, you can still bring it together. This is the um, model I presented when I made my presentation for the Vancouver Convention Center Expansion Project. The three large components in the center of the artwork uh, pays tribute to the three bands in the surrounding area, which is the Burrard, the Squamish, and the Busquin people. The human figures represent all of the um, people within the world. I wanted to represent everyone, so I decided to use a generic um, figure. I took into consideration the different cultures and the different values that everyone has, and I came up with the idea of patinating the copper men to make them even more unique. There's the green, the green patinated men, there's the brown, there's one gold leafed figure right in the very central portion of the artwork. Some may look the same, but if you go through the whole line and check each of the men, uh, there's no two the same. Everything was done here. The sculpting of the little um, cedar tufts and all of the painting was done here, you know, which is all hand done. So it's not all machine made, so to speak. It's a hands-on approach to every individual um, copper man that's placed on that um, wall of art. We've been working on this for three months. Fabricating, yeah. There's been a lot of people involved too. Obviously this is uh, about people coming together. The space is dynamic. I love that space. You look out beyond those windows and you can see the mountains on the North Shore. People are gonna wonder, you know, what is this? You know, it's gonna be very interesting, you know, and people are gonna wanna stop and maybe take a look at it and, and find their own story within the whole piece itself. Because from one end to the next, it's different. There's no beginning, there's no end. It can go on forever. I like it.